Okay, now after understanding about the amphoteric, we move to the next part of the lesson. Here it's going to tell us the relative strengths of acids and bases. Strength means that which the, you can say that the acid and bases, even they have the character, or you can say that as they show you the pH of acidic or basic character, but what are and how much they have a strength. For example, two people, okay? Uh, like uh, you can say that one is Big Show and second is Mysterio. You know that Big Show has a big body, his strength is more. In the same way, Mysterio also uh, stronger than us, but uh, in front of the Mysterio, uh, Big Show, it's not like this. So the relative strength of an asset is found by comparing one asset with another. Understand? You going to compare them. Yes. Okay. How you can compare? You will see that what the reaction or what the force one show and how the other show. Or you can say that you're going to measure their pH. How you will do this? The strength of an acid depends upon how many molecules dissociate or ionize. What it means? Very easy to know that. Uh, it's just like that. If I told you, if you have more strength than me, let's come and going to break the stick. Who can break more stick? Sticks. It means he have more power. Okay. In the same way, we are gonna check about the molecules who will dissociate. Dissociate means to say split out, convert into their ions. Understand? When the acid is dissociate in water, the relative strength of a base is found by comparing one base with another. And it again depend upon the dissociation of the base in aqua solution. In the same way as we find the acid, in the same way we find about the base. Any question in this paragraph? Teacher. Yes. What is Al two O three? Ah, aluminium. This Al yes. you still here. Aluminium oxide. This Al aluminium and O three oxide. Aluminium oxide and here zinc oxide Z and O. Okay, fine. Okay, sir. Yes. And in this paragraph, any question? No, sir. Okay. Strong and weak acids. Now we're going to find out. Typical strong acid is hydrochloric acid. If you remember that, the formula HCl that I also mentioned and brought in the pH scale, over the pH scale, it is formed by dissolving hydrogen chloride gas in water. Understand? The hydrochloric acid, the ions form separate completely. What it mean? For example, you have 30. For example, I'm just going to give you number. 30 HCl molecule. Okay? Understand? When you dissolve these in water, you get H positive ion plus Cl negative ion 30 this and 30 this. Understand? Yes. It means they dissolve, dissociate, separate completely in the solution. So if a strong acid that gonna dissolve completely or any acid that dissociate completely, you can say that that is a strong acid. That is a strong, strong. acid. Easy? Alhamdulillah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Now. How many times you read these topics in class, in school? They don't read the book. How then they explain you? From the notes? Yes. And did you understand? No. Look this. This is the benefit of the book. That book tells you. Okay? Because yes. this books, who, who wrote this book? Who created this book? My dear, the big brain, the thick think tanks, they work on it. On not only one person, after their studies, after their revisions, they know the way how to deliver the knowledge. Okay? So please, let's move next. So here it's going to tell you, as I just wrote over, this is the hydrochloric acid, yani HCl, in the gaseous form. 
then it can uh, put in the water, it will dissociate as H positive and Cl negative ions. So if it's uh, dissociate completely, we can say that that is a strong acid. Now read the key definition. Any question in it? Or you can highlight this one. It's only you can say that as the simplest definition of a strong acid. Yes, young man. Easy. Done. Read it. Well, I say just read yourself this definition. Key definition, the strong acid. Read yourself. If you have any question, ask me in this definition. Then we move next. Maybe it will take. Dissociated means uh, separate you... out, dissolve. Separate is... Yeah. Broken down. Okay. Anderson. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Look, that's the reason. When I explain you topic, mashallah, now you are able to understand the definition. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now let's move next. That is my method. That is my way to explain and make the thing understandable for the students. Now, for hydrochloric acid, any HCl, all the hydrogen chloride molecule break up to form H positive ion and H Cl negative ions. Okay. Here it is in the form of molecule HCl. When you dissolve this in water, all H positive ion and Cl negative ion separate from one another, dissociate, broken down. Any acid that behave in this way is turns as strong acid. Any acid, you can say that, who behave like this or it dissociate completely, we can say that that is a strong acid. Both sulfuric acid and nitric acid. What is the chemical formula of sulfuric acid? I'm going to write here H2SO4. Like HCl, that is hydrochloric acid. That is sulfuric acid. Okay. And what is nitric acid? HNO3. HNO3. This is the formula of nitric acid. These all are the strong acids. Okay. Also behave in this way and are therefore all terms as strong acid. Now, if anyone asks you, can you tell me the name of the strong acids or the examples of the strong acids? Which are these? Yes, please. Sulfuric acid, nitric. Okay, and hydrochloric acid. Understand? Okay, why are these are yes. strong acids? Why we call them these are strong acids? Yes, please. Hurry up. Quickly reply. Because they behave in the... Why? Why we call them these are the strong acids? The reason. Hurry up. They, because they break up to form H uh, plus ions and cell still, still, ions. Still, still one thing you're missing. They dissociate completely. Okay? Don't forget yes. when you're going to define something, don't forget to the proper wording. Okay? Otherwise, you will not get marks. Completely dissociate. Okay? That's the reason we call them strong assets. Okay, my dear. Now, yes, and also what is it? the cell minus ions? There, Cl ions, chlorine, Cl chlorine, Cl. Okay. This, any this, the hydrogen and chlorine combine to make HCl. That is hydrochloric acid. When they separate out, they make H positive and Cl negative ions. We call them chloride ions, not chlorine. Here we call them chloride. Okay, all these acids have a high concentration of hydrogen ion in solution. Now, amount, concentration means their amount, okay, in solution H positive means to say aqua solution and have a low pH. What is the meaning of low pH? Yes. Yes. 
low pH mean what? Uh, there, low in the pH scale. Uh, what it means? Strong acid or weak acid if pH is low? Yes, quickly. Strong acid. Very nice. Excellent. Because look, it starts from 7. Okay. When you go down, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, it means they move in below, low. As you go low, they become strong. Okay. And if 7 or near the 7, they are weak. Okay. Their solutions are good conductor of electricity and react quickly with metals, bases, and metals carbonate. What are conductors? What is a conductor? Metal carbonate. No, no, conductor, conductor. Only I want to know about the conductor. Conductor is, is like a metal conduct electricity and anything. Very good. Not anything. Elect, cond uh, conduct electricity and heat. Okay. So we call and them. Heat. Yes. Very good. Okay. When strong acids are neutralized by strong alkali, mean to say base. The following reaction takes place between hydrogen ions, yani H positive ion, and hydroxyl ions, mean to say OH negative ion, like this and this. When they react H positive and OH negative, they react together. What they form? They form a water molecule. Yes. Uh, Ahmad, till here, any question, my dear? How the strongest acids are neutralized by strong alkalis? Okay, no problem. If one side, there is John Cena. Okay? Yes. And the other side is also John Cena. Who will win the match? No one. No one. It's, you can say that, tie. I'm because good. they both have equal forces. They both have equal powers. In the same way, you can see here, when you have equal strength of negative, equal strength of positive, like here you have minus 5 and here you have plus 5. What happened? They will cancel each other. Yes? yes. Then they become, gives you a neutral reaction or you can say that a neutral substance. Not negative, not positive. Easy? Understand? So if it's uh... sorry, it's in neutralized if yeah cancel out this. You can say that like this, but it's not uh, in the cancelling in the way of the charges or in the way of the numbers. It's just a type of reaction in which they uh, cut or they just uh, damage one another, and nobody gonna. How, uh, nobody gonna take over to each other. Instead, they make a new thing. They make a something new, which is not acidic, neither basic. Okay? Okay. Because it's a chemical reaction. Now, come to words after understanding the strong acid, uh, the weak acids. What are these? Such as ethanoic acid. You can see here, CH3COOH. That is the ethanoic acid. It is its chemical formula, which is found in vinegar, okay, produce few hydrogen ions when it is dissolved in water. Compared with the strong acid to the same concentration, it is only partially dissociated. What it means, my dear? It means even you have a concentrated in which the amount of this acid is more or very no water in it, even they give you very little hydrogen ions. Understand? Or partially mean 50% half. Okay? Not completely. Understand? It is not going to dissociate completely. Only few hydrogen ions will come out. Its solution has higher pH. Mean to say near 7. Okay? Maybe 4, 5 or 6. 
then strong acid, but still less than seven, but not seven, less than seven. If less than seven, it means that is an acid. Any question till here? No. This is the equation. Now, this all is broken down from here. C H3 COOH is broken from here. And this H is dissociated as H positive, and this remaining one become as a negative part. Now, what you need to focus here, the most important thing, my dear, this equation, the arrows, okay? The half arrow, it moves from left to right, and then again from right to left, go back. Do you understand this type of reaction? Can you repeat again? No problem. There are two types of reaction. One is reversible and second is irreversible. Before yes. here, you can say that at the top, this one, that is a type of irreversible reaction. What it means? The product here on your right hand side. Sorry, yeah, this is the product will not go back into reactants. That's are here. Never. This type of reaction is called irreversible. But here, if you see arrow like this, that represent you reversible reaction. Mean to say your reactant will convert into product and product again go back to reactant. Easy? Okay. Okay. Inshallah, we will discuss this in detail. Uh, later sections, don't worry. Now, read the definition of weak acid and the key definition, then I will ask you about this. And if you have any question, you can ask me. From here to here, you need to read. The definition only. This when the class will end, sir. Why? I just want to know. Uh, till I think we have more than 20 or 25 minutes. Still we have. Any question? Uh, you want to go somewhere, washroom, or like this? No, no. Okay, no problem. Uh, or you want it, I make it more long. What do you want? Tell me. Did you enjoying or not? Or you feel bored? Tell me. I enjoy it very much. So then... But uh, I cannot... Uh, yeah, yeah. I cannot focus because I'm too sleepy. Ah. Sleep. Okay, so okay. No problem. In the class today. Okay, no problem. Till here, till here, we will yes. gonna finish this till the weak assets. No problem. Yes. Uh, that's a reason. Okay. <laughs> Look, uh, okay, no, I explain you. Don't worry. You know, uh, you're a little bit sleepy. Look, this sign. That sign means that the reaction is reversible. As I just explained to you, this means that if the ethanoic acid molecule break down, give hydrogen ions and ethanoate this means it will go back it will go back towards the reactant side from the product okay so inshallah uh, from here ions will be react together to reform to ethanoic acid molecule the fact that fewer ethanoic acid molecule dissociate compared with the strong acid and that is the reaction is reversible understand about the reversible reaction Yes. Okay. Means Remember that. Remember, you had the list <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Very nice. Yeah. You 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 amaze me. Nice, my dear. Okay. Means that few hydrogen ions represent in the solution. Other examples of weak acids are strict acids. Citric acid. I think. Yeah. 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 Then lemon, orange. Carbonic acid found in the soft drinks. This one, sulfurous, sulfurous acid, acid, like the acid of rain, and ascorbic yes. acid, like the vitamin C. These are the examples okay. of uh, the weak acid. Why we call them weak acid? Because the hydrogen ions will not get more during their dissociation. Is it? Okay. Okay. So you want it still here, yeah? Yes. 
uh, okay, uh, inshallah, in the next period, we will start from here again. Solutions of weak asserts are poor conductor. Why poor conductor? You will try to little bit find out this as a small assessment, okay? Just as a small assessment, why weak asserts are poor conductor, okay? Okay. A very little assessment. So, inshallah, see you on Saturday, yeah? Okay, my dear. See you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.